Um, yeah. So these are a couple of questions from readers online who submitted uh, via Twitter. One of them asks, describe your writing process. Do you have any rituals? Yeah. I, you try to read a book a week. I write always in the morning before I speak. I'm one of these people who like, as soon as I have a conversation, the magic's gone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and then spend a lot of time driving yourself nuts with your poor skills vis-a-vis -vis your own work. Uh, I think that that's basically it. And I read it at all times. I mean, mm -hmm. the thing for me works best. I mean, writing works best for me if I'm constantly getting words into my head. So I'm one of these people who will literally take a shower trying to hold a book outside the shower and look at it. It's silly. Yeah. So you're still reading physical books and not switching to e-books? Well, yeah, I mean, I like physical books. Physical books can take a beating, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. my e-readers, I, I would have destroyed an e-reader. I got to be able to throw a book. I mean, for real. <laughs> Um, another question by readers, have you ever abandoned your Dominican York slang style of writing or have you thought of doing so? Well, I mean, God, I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel as if one of the strange things that happens is that um, sort of as an artist, I've done so many different voices, but people almost forget that I've done them. Mm -hmm. You know, so of course there's like Lola's voice uh, mm -hmm. is very different. There's the voice of Yasmin in This Is How You Lose Her. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I guess in my mind, I think that I've already done it, but for some people, I guess I haven't. So I will try harder. Does writing for money ruin the experience or kill the joy? God, I, I, I gotta meet, the, who writes for money? I gotta meet those people, man. I just, listen, a person like me, I take 11 years to write a novel, 16 years to write another small book. I definitely am not writing for money. Otherwise I'd write a lot faster. I think in the end, work like mine and work like most people's, uh, you're doing it out of a strange, bizarre love mm -hmm. more than anything else. Mm -hmm. But I guess for some people, maybe money would ruin it. And for other people, money would make it. For me, I have other considerations that keep me on the page for decades at a time. I think there's the illusion that you won the Pulitzer Prize, you're made. Yeah, That's of course. Mm -hmm. No, no, of course. People think like you're made, but you're not. I mean, for God's sake, uh, Come and hang out with me, and you'll be like, "Yeah, I sh I'm glad I, I I'm glad I stayed a lawyer." <laughs> um, this is from your the Philip K. Dick fan club. What is your favorite book by Philip K. Dick? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a great question. I'm kind of a, a, a person split from the classic. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of a, a free radio albumoth person. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think a lot of people don't like that yeah. book as much. Um, but I like uh, free radio, and certainly um, Ubik, Ubik mm -hmm. is another book mm -hmm. I really like. So, you know, I've read quite a bit, so with him it's hard to choose. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's, he's just amazing that way.